We're going in for the win in Toronto. Serve some notice. I'm not aesthetic. I wasn't meant to be aesthetic. I gotta play my game. Come out and be a fucking monster. And that's what I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be the biggest, baddest motherfucker in the 212s. That's it. Right now, I have uh, yeah one goal in mind, and that's to win the Olympia. That's it. I've been third. I've been in the top five since I started. You know, that is not going to make me happy. That is not going to cement my position in this industry as one of the best at what I did. You know. Um, Here we are, we're at 24-7 Family Fitness. It should be the perfect environment for two meatheads to come in here and make some noise. We're like the Oompa Loompas, a bunch of midgets grunting and groaning in here. <laughs> what is he doing? He's, you know what it is? He's pussing up. Keeps making this, I'm, I'm off season, your contest ready. You already brought it up again tonight. Your contest ready, I'm off season. Don't be throwing around heavyweights. Flexi, you're a little wimp. Huh? We're doing this behind your back so you don't see it till it actually comes out. I know you're being a wuss. You're coming to train with the old man. I got old man muscle. It's like when you were a kid and your dad could still kick your ass. You always thought you thought he had. My dad's getting old, I can kick his ass. Never happened. Old man muscle always wins. Maybe we should go in and get the yeah. paperwork going up. We gotta like pay come back. Two play two train. I'm myself and uh, Jose is from about many years. And uh, he's uh, one of my closest friends in the sport, along with competing against Jose. We not only uh, have uh, a great time on stage, but off off stage also. It's uh, always uh, an enjoyable moment when we spend together. Definitely, uh, we uh, we've got many a story which can be told, but not on camera. And uh, again, a, a competitor that has pushed me on stage, you know, the last couple of years. You know, we we've gone battled in the past where uh, I've won a show, then he's won a show, uh, beaten me, and and uh, you know the. Climatized at the Olympia. It was a, a great, a great story. If it was told, you know, um, about uh, one year again, back and forth wins to then the finale at the Olympia, which I won. Just want to make make that clear. Um, but yeah, he's a he's a great friend. Again, even when we're both competing for the same show, be it the Olympia last year, we're both texting each other, you know, and we're not we're not talking crap. Where. Jose's a straight shooter just like me, you know, we don't talk shit behind each other's backs. He's, he's as real as real gets and that's why I love you guys so much, you know. This is why I'm here this weekend, you know, uh, doing this video for him and we're going to train and, and uh, you know, I want to see him win the uh, Toronto Pro, you know, there's, there's nobody uh, behind him as much as me and uh, again, he's a good loyal friend and uh, in this sport it's hard to say. So I wish him all the best uh, in his, in his first year. In this foreseeable future and uh, in his career on stage, but uh, I would say uh, he made great improvements. But then, you know, he'd be putting a threat against me. But I love the guy to death, and I wish him nothing but the best. It's time. We're gonna get kicked out. Are you gonna train? Huh? Are you gonna be able to work out this place? Yeah, we'll be fine. Ron trains here every day. I have fly machine. Can you train here? Cable or fly? Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah. You want to do this? Yeah, I'm warming myself up. Charles Glass taught him how to hold handles like that. Yeah. He's just a Neanderthal. He grabs whatever's in the way. Some like patent leather pants. Don't look now. In a few minutes you'll see it. Did you sit down in this? You didn't sit down in this. Thing. I'm using the handles though. Oh, yeah. Put the seat all the way up. I knew you didn't sit down. I knew he didn't sit down in this. No, I did. But I used oh, the oh, handle. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Something I ate already given me like a warm bump in time. Maybe it was that buzz sauce or something. It was that hug chicken in Which one? The chicken the store. Oh, they had, oh, the, the they had the arginine sauce. Really. The tribulus sauce on my steak tips. That little girl was excited. <laughs> Made my day. She was like, Flex Lewis? Jose Raymond's in the house. has a lot of meaning to me. It's been around the world with me. It's been to the Great Wall of China. It's been to the Aztec pyramids in Mexico. It's been to India, England, Ireland, everywhere. I take this everywhere I go. Not Wales yet, but I'll bring it with me when I go there and have some fruitcake with Flex's mom. Tea and crumpets. Tea and crumpets. Tea and crumpets. And uh, oh, what was that thing your mom sent that you shared with me? Remember those chocolate wafer things? Ollie made them. No, 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 no. In New York. In oh, 11. Shortcakes. Yeah. Yeah, shortcakes. Yeah, this guy, I had my mother send me some shortcakes. I loved caramel shortcakes. I'm such, I'm such a good friend that, that I enjoyed seeing Jose blow up and get edema over my mother's shortcakes because he beat me. So my pleasure was seeing him go into extraordinary, extraordinary lengths of bloatedness the next few days after the shoot. We ate for hours we straight. We we, we did. We went to a, a diner. The night after the night of the show. Yeah. And we, after he beat me, after he beat me, we, we had it. pancakes, French toast, eggs, steak. It did happen once. And then he looked over my shoulder and he said to me, after we just ate for two hours straight, he goes, this is 7-Eleven and it's open. I'm like, are you serious? We went to 7-Eleven, bought ice cream, candy bars, and there was a Flex magazine with him on the cover. <laughs> true story. It's, it is a true story. True story. 2 a.m. and he's telling the woman, after we both had faces like this, after eating so much food, 
He, tried, he was trying to convince the woman, he was trying to convince the woman, that I was the guy in the front cover. He's like, no, it is him. And she's like, we had all fake tan in us. Yeah. And she's like, no, that is him. And he's like, that ain't, your face is too big. <laughs> and I was like, oh, the tattoo. And that's what we convinced him. Yeah, exactly. We rolled up a pant leg. Yeah. <laughs> we were both swelled up like ticks, so within 24 hours after the show.
Okay, okay. Yep. Oh. Good pump. in my shake. Let's just take away my reps. 
Lord, look at my own fucking weight. A big reason why I wear this shirt too. It's like a triple X. It, is a it comes off easier. things that are uh, for me for my chest is a, a weak body part about to try different things I one of these things how I incorporate every workout is floor pressing it's really hits hits my chest fucking hard huh. same shit you just sew that one up for me
chest work in. Come on. Come on. Come on. Strong now. Drive. Kill the killer weight. Drive. Good. I can see that fucking chest, bro. Blow it up. Up. What you got, bro? Come on. Up. Come on. Up. Good. Up. Good. Come on, Jose. Strong fuck. Come on. Good. What do you feel that? Good. Trying to get up. Yeah. Do one more. You want to do something? You want to do? No, we'll do one more. One more. Yeah, we only do two. Like two. One, one of fives, one tens. One ten. One tens. Yeah. The guys never figure it out. Huh? A lot of guys never quite figure that pose out. I can do it. It just feels awkward on me. Show me. Because I got such short arms. You told me the guys for short arms too. <laughs> That's one of your best poses. Yeah. You don't even try, you just put your hands in. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing, Sean? I try to wrap my thumb right at the bottom. Can you do this? Oh. How far can you reach back? Not very. No? Of course. Make it a fair fight, you know? Keep that back, you know? 
Yeah. You can get, you can reach there. Yeah. That's what I got mine. And then I lift up. I lift up an arch. That's why I like that. Like that like back here. Yeah. 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 And then I slide from. My hands just totally come forward. Yeah, but you know what? I know a kid in a work but come here, I want to show you something. What I do, sit on that bench, yeah. and then I put my the fist knee, and then put my elbows in front of me. So I'm sitting like this. Oh yeah. yeah. And then I push forward. So put your elbows, try to turn them inside out. And I'll turn your use your knees to push your elbows. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so stretch you. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's just like that. Oh, okay. Put that. So it's like push it forward. Yeah. Your goal is to try and get yourself forward on the forearm. Oh, yeah. So what's happening is it's, you're stretching yourself out your rear delts and everything. So then you can reach back. That's yeah. It's so tight back there. Yeah, I feel it immediately. Yeah. Try and do your last breath. Deep inside my shoulder. Try and say, I don't know if that's stretch mode. So keep on doing that. Then stretch. Try and reach back. You feel, it looks like you can reach back a little bit more. Lift up. Yeah. Then squeeze your chest. So all that shit comes alive. <laughs> that did feel better. But don't use that going into the Olympia. Yeah, I'm gonna go to my shit going into the Every day yeah. now. <laughs> Do you still ride motorcycles? Me. Yeah. No, I haven't been my bike for a while. Since you burnt yourself at, before the New York Pro? Yes. We were backstage at the New York Pro. Yeah, that's the sky. I look at him, I'm like, what the hell is that? Yeah. It was bad. Yeah, it was scabbed up. Yeah. It's gone. It was really bad. It was. And I'm like, what is it? It was a fresh wound. I know. He's like, don't tell anyone, but <laughs> I burnt it on my motorcycle. Oh my god. Yeah. See, even bodybuilders have to sign uh, no unnecessary dangerous act clauses. But I, I don't have a bike. Not anymore. No, I never had one. Oh, you didn't? Remember? You bumped into one. I, I jumped on my friend's bike and put my That's clothes. right, that's right. <laughs> yeah. Remember that story? Yeah. Come on. Yep. Easy. Strong. Let's go, you beast. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get it? Go! Yeah! That was yeah. a good set. Yep! Yeah. 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 Nasty. 
nasty shit going on. Come on. Squeeze that fucker through. Come on. Come on. Squeeze. Pull that squeeze through. Pull that squeeze through. Throw it through. Throw it through. Most muscular. Squeeze. Good. And again. Good. Good. All the way Come on, think about it. Crazy lines. Good. Come on. Last one, come on. Come on, come on. Yeah. That's probably, that's probably one of the best things I do when I do I just watched something where you were doing this. The Battle for the Olympia. Was that what it was? Yeah. C3PO. Hang on. Dude. on the frame bro we gotta get that fucking crazy conditioning come on squeeze squeeze come on these are the money reps squeeze come on there's another one there squeeze 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 straight man please change it or don't straight down straight down same way yeah same way it's gonna easy go to the floor Bend your knees a little bit. Bend your knees. And squeeze down. Drive. Drive. Come on. Go on through. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Pick up the pace. Good. Come on. Throw them through. Throw them through. Come on, Jose. Come on. Yeah. Money reps. Come on. Throw them to pro. Fucking hundreds. Hundreds. Oh. Now we have to stop. Most muscular. Most muscular. That <sighs> fucking shit. Oh shit. Shit. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Hold it. Keep holding it. Hold it. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Was that an accident or did you kick that over? Come on, Flexi.
Sorry, when you swallow up, are you okay? That was bad. His fucking wrist is the size of your of his hand. Yeah. Your wrist is like this. And yeah. you're, you're poking your skin. I weighed in at 205 and I was 227 that, that night. <laughs> Put on 20, 22 pounds in less than 24 hours. It's not good for you. I don't. I don't recommend it. Squeeze them in. Squeeze. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. Good. Oh, that crazy shit. Come on. Come on. Get that double digit. Come on. Come on. No less than ten, Jose. Come on. Squeeze. Ah. What number you want? Twelve. Okay, squeeze. Four. Two. Last one. <laughs> Throw them in. Throw it in. Okay, bend over. <coughs> 90 degrees. Knuckles to the floor. Squeeze them in. Squeeze. Hold. Can you get it in? Come on. Oh. <coughs> Come on. Squeeze. Ah. Come on. Squeeze. Squeeze. <coughs> Pick up the pace. Go. Five. Four. Three. <coughs> Come on. Come on. <coughs> Come on. My, how was my form then? That was awesome till you put it down. Yeah. Threw yeah. it like that. I yeah. was too interested in looking at pictures of myself. Picture of himself, yeah, yeah. exactly. <laughs> Hoping I get an injury for the Olympia. Ron Harris, his training partner. That's right. Showing photos of how great Jose looks whilst <laughs> Flex Lewis is, ah! Jose, please! Nobody's helping. Fuck that. We have to twist him in the wind. <laughs> Yeah. 
Come on. Come on. Yep. Press. Come on. Two reps. Seagulls. Come on. Come on. Who's the push? Come on. Come on. And again, one more. Come on. Throw the fuck Come on. Good. Whoa. The chicks dig it, man. I tell you, I'm just gonna figure it. My band, really my, 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 my bear, my bear, 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 yeah. bear guys like it. Oh, yeah. yeah, I don't shave it till the very end. I sh I'm, I'm shaved up because I got gas poison. Yeah. Fuck the girls' fun store. Look at it. Water here is kind of red, so you can't see it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I fucking hate this piece. All right. Three, two, one. All right. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Easy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yep. Up. On again. Yep. Oh, you such a wide grip. Uh, it's me better. If I go too close, too much if, I was, if I was you, my fucking tricep would have everything. Yeah. I have to take it to wider. It takes. The reps go down a little bit. Yeah. But again, I gotta get a happy medium there. So I don't hurt my shoulder, but don't use too much arm. If I go close, it's all triceps, like the skull crusher. Yeah. I have a very narrow grip on my benches and stuff. I seen that back there. Yeah. Oh, I showed the press like this. Oh, yeah. Hey, you ready? One, two, up. Oh, yep, here. Press. Two. Fucking beast. Come on. Come on. Come on. The Boston freaking hey. ass. Come on. Yep. Try, try, and again. Try the fuck it up. Try, 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 try. Yep. Ooh. Fucking omega three. Hey, the ten ounce uh, arm drop here, right? Omega three, right on my fucking seat. I might have left an ounce on there for you. Three, two, one. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Up. 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 Do that same thing, a little drop set. What the shit? Done. Huh? Can we do something else? To finish off? Sure. Uh, what the shit? How you want to finish off with a drop set? Oh, I'll do something else. If you know something else, it'll feel better. I'm getting a little bit from it, but that was all like power. We do drop set. Oh, we'll go lighter. Let's finish off here. Alright. One. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Come on. Yep. Press one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, three. I got it. Yeah. Hey, got it. Drop. Go. Three, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's one. Up. Good. Ah, uh, go finish strong. Finish strong. Oh, you're right. Yeah, go, 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 go. Two. Ah. Three. Come on. Two. Throw them up. And again. Come on. Come on. Then twelve. Drive. One more. Strong. Good. Sam. Oh. Woo. Did that hit you in the face? No. Holy shit. Came close. That was hard. The fact that he was more interested in fucking me than his set. He's like, you okay? So I, I thought it hit your face. No, it's good.
It's funny, the old people get a kick out of me too. They love it, brother. Yeah, they love it. All the gym owners are worried about older people. You don't want to scare them off. No. They love it. They love it. They're, they're the most friendly. They don't give a shit anymore. They, that's it. They come in. They come in and they'll, they'll do their little... There's one guy that just sits on the... On the... On the a seated tricep push down yeah. for an hour and a half. <laughs> and he just sits there. I think he's perving, but he sits there like this. <laughs> Couple sets. Looks around. Talks to a young girl. That's it. Puts it down. And he looks then. And then every time he, he tries to get my attention, you know, or my training partners, and he goes, You want me to join you over there? <laughs> and then he does some more sets. And he talks to anybody. You know, he's that type of guy, you know? Yeah. <coughs> Did they say I used to look like you? I, that's the guy that does it. Yeah. I used to look like you, but bigger. Yeah. I never lifted a wood day in my life. I only started last week. I had bigger calves than you too. <laughs> I used to lift bales of hay during the war. <laughs> Let me take it in a little closer so my triceps can do some work. <laughs> He talked me into going wide. Now he comes in now. I know. He's trying to go away now. Do the fucking Boston Mass way. Three, two, one. Yep. Come up. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Yep. Up. Come on. Up, 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 guys. Go ahead. Come on, Flex. Let's go. Big chest. That's enough for me, bro. Enough then. I'll have to. I'll step out of this. I've done ten up? reps now. Nothing doing anything. Really? Hi. I done because I move my grip closer, huh? all my triceps. And then if I, I went to try this back set again. You don't want 24 inch arms? Alright. No, it's good. You know what I did with Johnny and Branch? What? I never saw or understood the, the chains around your neck, yeah. the dips. It works like a, it's perfect. Yeah, we don't have them. Because it pulls your weight all yeah, forward yeah, yeah. like that, so it's all chest. Yeah, it's all chest. It looks like a stunt more than anything, but it actually works. Yeah, let's try that. What? Then, uh, see it like a neutral grip press. Yeah, you can put that last set in because it was fucking shit. And I can't, I, I'd rather do white grip. This is pretty cool. There you go. You might like this, Flex. Yeah? Alright. So like a semi-negative down and a press. Yeah. Yeah. 
I'm saying I got a oh fucking two and a half hour drive. Tom, what are you doing to me? Please. Control. Come on. It looks good in the fucking camera. Squeeze. Come on. Get all this fucking shit popping. Come on. Come on, Jose. Stretch. Squeeze, drive. Come on. Get the singles out at the end. Power them up. Power. 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 Come on. Good. A few more. Come on. Finish strong, Jose. Finish strong. And again. Drive. Good. Jose Raymond, Dr. Pro winner. This is the latest I've ever trained, honest to God. Well, for me, since I travel, you travel. Well, <laughs> I don't know what times I train. My body's telling me it's 4 a.m., but it could be like 10 a.m. Australia time. Yeah. But for this guy, since I'm in the States, and he wanted to train, he did that for me. I done it for him. Good man. He's one of my closest friends as well. Good man, thank you, buddy. For the win, bro. For the, w. For the win, and then I come for you. <laughs> but I got fast legs, I'm already ahead of you. <laughs> I don't understand my off-season yet. It's okay. So do I. He, he said he's 220, I say he's 236. No, I said it was 225 in the morning. 220, 225 in the morning. No, now you're bullshitting. I say said, bro. I say you're over 235. Probably no, because I got my boots on and shit. Boots. He acts like they're from steel toe combat boots. Oh. 239. Yeah, buddy. Yeah. I said it yesterday. What are you, 240? You're good, man. You're good. Oh, wait. And I'm 218. 219. Yeah, 219. What do you weigh in the morning? 215. On my on my scales in the house, on my scales in the house, I'm like two, I'm like two, twenty. Shoes were three pounds, <laughs> apparently. Yes. Yeah, those are heavy shoes. Two twenty-five. What is that stuff? I so fast. Is it good? Does it make me greeny? Yeah. How fast he kick in? Did you see that? He won't even take a sip of it. Because of his obligations, contractual obligations. That's isofusion. Huh? That's isofusion. <laughs> Combination? <laughs> no, I can taste this. Gaspari's isofusion. No, it's not. <laughs> I would never do that. No, I know. No, I would taste nice, though. 
good. And I prefer I love the extra fusion. Like a spy nutrition, the only leading sports supplement brand that I take in the world. Yes. Thanks, Lewis. <laughs> <laughs> you're good, you're good. Rich, you ought to be happy for that. You've been, getting, really me the you've been getting plugged all weekend. Beautiful day again. I've been very blessed. I went out to Seattle and it was 82 degrees out there in March, right? Beautiful. Now I'm here back in Boston and it's got to be 70, 75. Gorgeous, gorgeous weather. My boy Ron Harris gonna bang out some back with me today. Did you get a haircut? Nope. You color your hair or something? 2% more gel. Oh, <laughs> looking good, man. Oh, you're not good with that. I'll stick with the MHP. They're all great colors. Yeah, you got a lot of caffeine in there. My chef is already doing that. So you guys had quite a, quite a chest workout, wasn't it? Huh? That was quite a chest workout for us. Yeah, 11 o'clock at night. Typical approach on back workout. You have a method to your madness, or you just kind of warm up, warm up, warm up. Uh -huh. so I'll do like four or five here. Try to get as much blood into my shoulders. And I got kind of bad shoulders, like Somebody always in pain. Asked about that this morning on the MD form. Oh really? If you ever had a shoulder injury? <laughs> yeah, I still do. It's for football, right? Yeah, it's just I. Uh, I got hit real hard in my sophomore year by the senior captain and kind of just like subluxated my shoulder. And then I was 18, I got in a little bar fight and uh, ended up getting cuffed. I didn't get arrested, I got PC, but... And the cop, one was kneeling on the middle of my chest and the other one, I was already a big kid at 18. They thought I was like resisting them and they just pulled my arm right out of socket and ever since then it's been uh, very bad so thank you Salem Mass PD I try to get as fully pumped as possible it ends up the more blood I can bring into this area it'll help stabilize my shoulder better so I can do my rows and get some heavier stuff going as I get into the workout. Same idea as with the chest workout we did. I always have to start with a fly, really get my chest pumped up good before I can stop pressing. People are riot that, that video of me and Flex posing. One guy writes, Jose doesn't stand a chance. If he doesn't, if he doesn't put some muscle on that back, his back is terrible. The very next guy writes, Flex Lewis's real head spread sucks. <laughs> it's amazing what people see.
Did I lose my pump from last night? I haven't been eating a whole lot since then. That was a late workout. All I've had since then was another shake, 10 ounces of chicken, a cup of egg whites, and a half a cup of cream of rice. That's pretty good. All right. Wow. See a little muscle back there, huh? <laughs> Just a little. I either have no calves, no back, small legs, or zero separation. You can't make everyone happy. As long as I'm happy. T-Bot. Oh, T-Bot. Uh -huh, let's try. I don't got a T-Bot. Alright, let's go for it. Get it? 
I just inhaled some. <laughs> this is a great environment. Muscles are warm. I like it. Alright, I'm gonna set up that smith machine. Perfect height for me. I know. Right above the knees. Oof.
This is the shitty part of the prep where you don't look ripped enough to be this tired, but I am. You working with Chris again this year? Yeah. This is our first real prep together, taking me from a fat guy to contest shape. And that's why I went with Chris, because I needed someone to save me from myself. I tend to overdo everything, you know? Too much cardio, too much cutting carbs. And I'll be in shape. I mean, getting in shape is never an issue with me. But holding fullness and being in that condition, which is pretty much everybody's problem. It's the holy grail. Right. But I see a, a huge difference. I, last year for the Olympia, we did pretty much what I normally do. I came in just over 200 pounds, way too small. And by the British Grand Prix a month later, I was like six pounds heavier and looked way harder, better, fuller, rounder, everything. Come on. Here. gonna be a tough one. Alright, well done. <laughs> Ten reps. Hey buddy. How you doing? No, come say hi, get in the video. Mm -hmm. Come here, come give me some love. Hey, how are you? How are you feeling? I'm feeling good, yeah. You got two weeks to go. Two weeks, a little bit less than two weeks. Nice. Right. She's doing the junior USA's. In uh, what, D class? F, what are you, 5'8"? I'm 5'7 and a half. I'm oh, the tall perfect. Ground, so. <laughs> nice. So, yeah, I see you tanning. Yeah, uh, that was from uh, the Jay Cutler on Sunday. Still. But yeah, I gotta, I gotta keep yeah, you going. You know, it's weird. You look white out there. I did. It was a last minute decision to do the J, so I kind of slapped on the tan that morning okay. myself and just kind of jumped on stage. That's why. But, yeah. All right. Yeah, so you need to be a little darker. A lot darker. <laughs> yeah. You'll be good, though. Yeah. Thanks for coming back. All right. Have a great work. Good to see you. Bye. See ya. She had emailed me the other day. What I need to work on, I remember distinctly she was white as a ghost on stage. And uh, it's hard to tell a bikini girl what do you work on, you know? I'm like everything. Like, I need to be rounder, fuller, everywhere. Yeah. It's one thing to look awesome in the gym, you know, thin and fit. But you gotta be round and have some muscle to enhance that shape so you're not a stick figure, you know? She looked great, but and these girls got booty. 
ass. I'm like, you gotta work on that ass. <laughs> I tell even rap video girls that you can never have too big an ass. It's true. That's the Puerto Rican in me. Yep. Some waves crashing. <laughs> Yo, bro, come on. Yep. Mm -hmm. First place, come on. Obviously, uh, you know at Greater Boston Fitness, um, we just finished our workout. I want to introduce you to one of the owners, Frankie Nazo. Yes. His uncle Lou is not here, but uh, as I explained earlier, they really turned this place around. It was uh, kind of beaten down the last few years, and they just redid it all over in December and like quadrupled the membership, cleaned the place up, brought in new equipment, and now uh, this is the premier hardcore place to train that welcomes bodybuilders and uh, you know, we're gonna be doing a lot more filming here. We got a lot of ideas in the works to uh, bring more business and- um, Absolutely. I spoke with um, Steve Weinberger. He wants you guys to be a main, main sponsor of the show in New England in uh, October. So we'll have a big banner with Greater Boston. Consider Center. this my signature. Right, right. <laughs> so- um, Jose's the best, uh, we love having him. Uh, his trajectory towards the top is just amazing to watch and now actually be a part of. And uh, like he said, well, this place used to be a mecca for bodybuilding 25 years ago. Um, now we got it back in our hands, and uh, we're, we're putting it back on the map. And uh, on the backs of guys like Jose, uh, we, we love having them, and a lot more exciting stuff to come. Beautiful. Thanks, buddy. You're the best, Jose. We'll be back. Awesome. You want some shakes before you go? You good? We're good. All right. Anyone who's uh, seen my videos knows uh, Mr. Ron Harris here. He's in, if he's not in all my videos, he's filming them and you can hear his voice. So, uh, those of you who don't know Ron, this is him. We train together at least uh, once a week, try to as often as possible and uh, only live about 40 minutes apart. Ron has been a huge part of my uh, pro career and my success and, and uh, my biggest cheerleader in getting me uh, hooked on with MD and, 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 and MHP and any amount of success I've had, has, Ron has played a huge role in it. Um, and uh, I, I'm, I'm very grateful, and obviously that's why I wanted him in this video. And uh, He was in my Battle for the O video. He's in my uh, sex tape video that's on the internet now, too. Uh, I think we took that down. Maybe. Yeah, well, you can always find some. But uh, yeah, I want to thank Ron for, for being here today and uh, doing everything that he does for me. Um, and everything that he does for everyone in the industry. Ron is not someone who hates or dislikes anyone. He calls it as it is. And he may have his favorites, but he calls it like he sees it. And um, he's been in this industry as long, if not longer than most people. And uh, it's great at what he does. He's a great writer, great uh, analyst. And, and uh, I'm very lucky to have him in my corner. So thanks for being here today. and. Uh, we got plenty more to come. Ron, what do you got to say? Uh, thanks for having me. I'm proud to know Jose. He's one of the coolest people you're ever going to meet. He's one of the most humble, down to earth, real people. There's no bullshit with him. Loyal to his friends, honest to a fault. Uh, he's the type of guy who do once you're his friend, he'd do anything for you, you know, without blinking. And uh, comes to hard work in the sport. Nobody works harder than this guy. Nothing's been handed to him. If anything, he's had to fight and work 10 times harder than just about anyone else to get where he is today. And, uh, you know, 
I respect the hell out of the guy, and I'm real proud to call him a friend. And I'm, I'm happy for any success that he has, and I wish him so much more, because he really deserves it. That's about it. See you tomorrow. Do you have a water, bud? So we just finished the workout. I'm gonna pound a shake, and we're gonna go to Luis's Pizza World in Reading. Luis's daughter is my good friend. The whole family's a good friend of mine. Um, my girl Lisa cooks all my meals. I haven't prepared my own food in a couple of years. Um, she weighs it all out, measures it, puts it in a container for me. If she knows I'm traveling, she'll individualize it into uh, Tupperwares. Otherwise, she just separates it with like wax paper each each meal, and they're all 10 ounces. Um, so we're gonna head over there so I can pick up my food for the weekend. Usually I'm good for three days. So every three days I go in. And while we're there, we will uh, grab a little lunch, sit down and talk about what I do. And then I get a massage at three o'clock. So this is very exciting. Lita's like a little sister to me. She hasn't missed an Olympia yet. It's my girl, I love her. It started uh, about 15 years ago, my brother was training Luisa, the mother. And then my brother moved to LA, and I started training Luisa. Then I started training her son, Teddy. Then I started training Lita. So I trained the whole family. Some of the cousins and nephews, and awesome, awesome Greek family, great people. And uh, anyone who doesn't know Greeks, they love to feed you, so I happen to be in luck, being friendly with them. All right, we're here at Luis's Pizza World in Reading, Mass. It's where I pick up all my meals. My girl, Lita, cooks everything. Hey, guys. So we're gonna go back. I'm gonna take you back behind the scenes and show you a little bit of what she does and uh, what it looks like. What started out as just making my meals turned into my clients, turned into my clients' clients, my clients' friends, friends, family. Now she's overwhelmed, so. I'll take it. This is just one order you're about to see. Mine's already cooked in bags, so. Yeah, so this is buffalo chicken burgers on the grill. Those are buffalo chicken burgers that is just ground chicken. She doesn't use any fillers or anything. It's just ground. She uses some spices. There's like diced carrots and whatever else in there. Just it's good stuff. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So back here is just an example of one of her orders that came in today. That's why I decided. And uh, check this out. She, she hasn't added the chicken or fish or whatever protein goes with it yet. But as I explained earlier, she weighs it all out, measures it, puts it into Tupperwares, and that's how I pick up my meals when I travel. So there's nothing, I don't have to worry about separating it, putting it nowhere. I just put it in my cooler and put, get on the plane. There's no thinking involved. I make her do all the thinking. I just order it, and it's ready when I'm ready to go. A lot of people are like, Jose, you're so lazy, you can't cook your own food. Why would I if it's this easy? Make my life a lot easier. So, we're about to eat. Where's mine in the cooler? Uh, your fish and everything? Ah, yeah. Yeah, do you want those? Yeah, we'll, we'll get it once we're done eating. Okay. So yeah, it is, as you were making fun of me before, I thought we were going to Pizza World. Pizza World is not uh, is not just pizza, you know. They make a zillion pizzas a week, but it started out with this little little Greek lady, Sonia, and that's Luisa. Luisa is a really good friend. Um, she's the one that I trained, you know, 15 years ago. My brother started training, and it went down to her son and her daughter and nephews and. But they cook all types of stuff, all Greek food, and it's just <laughs> pizza is the um, probably the best seller, I'm sure. But they got anything you want, and 
If you want to invent something, they'll cook it. Whatever. Just ordered this for you guys. That's as clean as it gets right there. That's 10 ounces of chicken and probably six ounces of uh, sweet potato fries. All right, this is my. This is for you. This is about three days worth of protein for me. So, like I explained before, if I was traveling, she would put it in a Tupperware. But for now, that's self-explanatory. Those are each 10-ounce bison patties, which I have for breakfast with a cup of egg whites every day. This, like I said before, separated with wax paper. Those are 10-ounce chicken. Simple. And this is my favorite meal ever, except for when it ends up on the seat that I'm sitting on. Orange Ruffy, delicious, 10 ounces each. The reason I love Orange Ruffy is because it's oil, and when you reheat it, it's not dry. If you reheat haddock or anything like that, it's so dry and really tough to get down. So, But I come in here at least two, sometimes three times a week to pick up this same thing. It gets pricey, but it's worth every penny because I'm not standing over a stove doing it. And uh, it just saves me so much time and energy and I suck at cooking anyway. I can cook peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, that's about it. So Lita is my beautiful Greek friend that um, I believe, I'm not sure, did you get on the video at the Meet the Olympians when you were working the booth? I did. I think I did. I was there. So you yeah. may have seen her. Yeah. Lita around. has quite a story to her, too. She was about 240 pounds, and uh, we got her down 100 at one point. Down 100 again. Yeah. So, she's quite the little workaholic when she sets her mind <laughs> to something. I, I get it done. Yeah. So. She's doing good. So, I'm off to go get a massage and uh, do another round of cardio tonight, train a couple clients, and uh, that's about it. So we will see you tomorrow for Waterworks. Peace. Steve Cardillo, um, one of the greatest guys around here, takes care of everybody. Steve's like the uh, the big brother to all of us locals here. He, uh, he's been hooking me up for years now, and uh, I definitely wouldn't be where I'm at without him. Um, it's been b between the belts, the supplements, the you know, and just the support in general. I've been very blessed to uh, have them. And uh, we got a special treat coming up in a, a day or two where he's going to bring me through a crazy workout. Steve is one of the most innovative people I know when it comes to working out. And uh, a lot of people don't know he's got a, a long history um, of powerlifting and, and a big background and training himself. So he's going to put me through it in a, a crazy workout. And, you guys will see me uh, winning the Toronto Pro this year, and it'll play a large part in due to uh, Steve Cardillo. And uh, make sure you pick up your belts at Steve at uh, CardilloUSA.com. Thanks, brother. Kind words. Very cool. Hello, my name is Steve Cardillo. I'm here at American Nutrition Center in Everett, Mass. My exclusive showroom for Cardillo weight belts. Here with Jose Raymond, he came in today to pick up some of his stuff. And for your own sake, everyone wants to know that Jose, I've dealt with hundreds and thousands of athletes, and Jose is one of the best, probably the best person, athlete, bodybuilder that I've had to deal with in 27 years of making weight belts. 
All right, we just arrived at the Cardillo compound up here in Amesbury, Mass. As I said before, we're going to uh, do a very innovative workout today that uh, Steve Cardillo came up with himself. Uh, some water training, water bucket training. We're going to do uh, shoulders and arms. Um, it's going to be pretty crazy. And it, luckily, it's a beautiful day. And uh, it's going to be a blast. Hopefully, I don't kill myself. I've made weight belts for every Mr. Olympia since 1997. Every one of them has worn my belt. I've made weight belts for every winner of the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. I've made weight belts for every winner of the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic since, the, um, since it ever started. Made belts for Arnold Schwarzenegger, Lou Ferrigno, anyone that's in our industry I've made the weight belts for. Out of our industry, probably my best one I've ever made was uh, Michael Jordan. That one makes, uh, that's pretty, pretty good when someone wears your belt, you don't have to pay him to wear it. Oh, Dad, how would you uh, I've met Jose, I've known Jose for a very long time, I can't even remember how long, and I've also uh, knew Tito way back, uh, both phenomenal people, both elite athletes, and Jose, I just kind of, since being hometown close to each other, I kind of gravitate towards, he comes in a lot, we talk a lot, and again, he's just a great person, very, very appreciative of everything I do for him, and I'm very appreciative of what he does for me. Just a really a great guy, and we have uh, above and beyond business. We became friends, and through that, uh, again, he's just a, been a great spokesperson for my company, and just a great person. I can't say enough about him. He trains extremely hard, freaky strong, and has that freaky mass. And if that's what you're looking for, he's the guy. He's the one. He's very, very uh, he's packed, and he wears my weight belts all the time. So I love that too. Look at the doctor doing us. Doing us that call. Doctor's not doing us. Should have patented all this stuff. Mm. 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 
It's like the resistance doesn't change. It doesn't change. It might get lighter, but it ain't easier. And it comes if the water gets lighter, right? It gets slower. Go to failure? No, just and then no, pull the plug? No footage, no, just see how it feels. I want you to make sure you're comfortable. Then we'll right. ready to pull the plug. You're gonna pull the plug on this? No, not yet. It might be too light for him. You be the judge. 15, 20 reps and then. Oh, that's plenty of weight. Okay, ready, Sean? You're gonna pull it right now? Yep, one, two, three, and go. All right, we go. We're take it home. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot harder than it looks, especially the pressing. The water, once the water starts swaying, you gotta stabilize it and press it. I mean, it's probably not more than 150 pounds, but it feels like 250 easily. All right, raise side by side. All right, watch these guys. Get 
How many times have you done this, Sean? Oh, we've been doing this for a couple weeks, getting ready for summer now, but now that the sun's out, <laughs> get ready for that beach body. We got Jose with us now, so. Here's another Sean just got back from a mini camp, and uh, we got him for a few weeks. Get him ready, go kick some ass. When, when's the date you head back? A couple weeks head back. Get ready to lock and load, hit some people again. But get to work out with the main man here, so nothing better. And then if you want me to get this Too pumped. Ready for crazy set of trucks? Yeah. Right. <coughs> Go ahead. Okay. 
Sean, when he can't go anymore, we're gonna put him into a press position. We're gonna lift it right up. You're going into a press position right up. We're gonna put it right over your head. You can twist your hands. Ready? One, two, three. Up over his head. Get more race to it, baby. Press. <laughs> I'm driving home. You okay? Yeah. Whew. This is unbelievable. It's a good pump. How did you come up with this concept? Uh, I've always done descendant sets and I was tired asking, having two or three people around try to help you. So having the water, I just one day thought of an idea and said, hey, let's do some buckets. All you really need is you can do it by yourself, but two people quick, pull the plug, ready to go. It's probably the best sustaining pump you, you can get. I'm not about strength anymore, which I used to be, but now I just want to burn, 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 and it seems to work for me now. Works for Jose, man. Oh, yeah. He's the man. No one better than him. Like I said, it was, as the water drains out, it's actually getting lighter, but it does not feel lighter at all. Even the last few reps feel just as taxing as the first. And that's, 
That's amazing. There's no rest, no stopping to change the ways. That's a crazy pump. Yeah. Okay. So what is this? Oh, you're gonna be. We're going now. We're going down to uh, it's called uh, Pow Wow Hill. It's the second steepest hill in Massachusetts. It's a half a mile climb, and it's cardio flush time for him. It's gonna go slow, but it's tough. So we'll be down at the gym in about 10 minutes. It's called, uh, we'll take the wheelbarrows out of Hard Knocks Gym and take it away. Can't wait. <laughs> Let's go, it'll be my second cardio of the day. Yeah. You doing this too? Oh yeah, I like love this? doing this. Yeah. Whatever it takes is what you do when people aren't watching that makes you separate yourself. Jose always told me, you're out working your competition. Who's working harder than you? I mean, he's out working them every day of the week. He's coming for that title. Seven days a week, he's invested, he's made the sacrifices. He's a year-round guy. That's why I like training with somebody like him, look up to somebody like him. We're in different sports, but we still get the same mentality. So he's rubbing off a little on me. Go do this hill and we'll get after it. What is this contraption here? Okay, this is a, this is a modified wheelbarrow. More balance, uh, better, better for the work. I've used a regular wheelbarrow, but Obviously, the way it's designed is better. You can load it for what you want. This is about 225 pounds. Uh, about two, maybe maybe 225, 250. You get back, you? So it's a half a mile. So, it's a half a mile wheelbarrow. Yeah. You just start to get that the first third is pretty easy. Then it starts to get crazy. It becomes like a cardio flush. It's no, no joke. But Jose likes to uh, flush it out. But let me get those two boys. We only have two of them, so there's three of us. So what I'll do is I'll probably walk up there with some dumbbells to get at least some kind of workout. <laughs> do you need straps to hold it? How's your grip? Good. Toward the end, I put my hands like this. Okay. Just regular grip. So this, you want this, to take your traps that get, it's not then the I'm like, is easy. the hill is second so steep, you're literally third. like this. Stop. You're gonna be able to do it. Yeah. All right, you, gotta, you need your straps and I want straps. Do I, do I need them? I use them because I, I don't have a good grip because of my back. All right, I'll grab them. Yeah, grab them so you're safe. Good. This gym is called Hard Knocks Gym. It's been here since 1960. I happen to be the longest member, consistent member here. John Cena started here with Dave Knox when he was like 16 years old. He was probably one of the first guys to wear one of my belts. And then Dave used to have him pose down in the middle of the square with his underwear because he was so shy when he was starting to body go. He pulls in a little square, and then uh, this guy was his mentor. Basically, take a take a look inside. It's still it's still back from the back from the six. Nothing's really changed here, boo. This is the way it's been for 60 years. A lot of heavy iron.
you're the girls all the way? Girl all the way. He don't care. That's what I had to do it the first day. All right. Give my sister your juice. Side by side, baby. How are you feeling, Jose? Beautiful. It's a beautiful day. The hard part's coming. This so far is good. My heart rate's up. This is about uh, what my normal cardio is on an incline on a treadmill. Once we hit the hill, it'll be like doing sprints on the step mill. But this is, this is tougher because my whole back is contracted, my traps, belts. It forces me to walk, walk with good posture though. Good. You didn't pay attention to cars coming. telephone pole, it's go time. It, you're gonna know right there. He'll count 80 steps to the next pole. It's about 80 steps per pole. <laughs> this is where you can start seeing it. <laughs> hey. You know it's a hill and a skateboard is going 40 <laughs> miles an hour. about eight minutes away from the top. If he's good. Starting to feel it now. There's some sweat trickling. My breathing's laboring. This is good. 
burning calories. Etching those striations in the glutes. Oof. I walk more with my ass, so I feel that. Try to avoid my calves from burning too much. If you go heavier, you do like 40, 50 steps, put it down, take a breath. This is more of a all out burn right here. Keep going, Sean. Good Totally different kind of cardio right there. That's everything I got. That was uh, harder than it looked. Again, everything today is harder than it looks. Wow. Between the my glutes were on fire. Is your ass hurting, Sean? Yeah. <coughs> I think the thing about this is most people get the misconception that you're training to be the biggest, the fastest, the strongest, but everybody trains like that. When you do something like this, you train your body not to quit. Right. And that's how you're gonna live your life. When you face adversity, when you see other people who try to give, make you give up on your hopes and dreams, train your body not to quit every day. Don't do the stuff that everyone else is doing things that you do when people aren't watching that's what separates you nobody knows that we do this we do this every week Jose's probably the only Mr. Olympia who would attack this hill half the other guys are probably quit halfway up he doesn't that's what separates him I'm gonna do it again that's really good that's all I would need honestly how long was that 10 minutes about, about that. 10 12 minutes yeah. If I trained at Hard Knocks, I would do that after, you know, three, three days a week, maybe. Three, four days a week. Going to Puerto Rico soon. Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Good pump from. Oh, yeah. I don't even have to train legs, I'll just come do this. Especially for calves. Alright, we're uh, concluding this workout. We're here in front of Hot Knocks Gym in uh, Amesbury, Mass. We just finished the, the uh, wheelbarrow races there. 
up the uh, mountain of death. It took us about 12, uh, 12 to 15 minutes to do it, and it was hell. We, uh, we did that water workout, the Cardillo water workout over at the Cardillo compound there. And uh, I was smoked before we even got to the wheelbarrows. So uh, that was phenomenal, great workout. I'm gonna need a nap now. Good meal and a nap. Uh, I wanna thank Steve and Sean and uh, you guys are the best pushing me through that workout. And uh, just had a blast. And we'll be back in a couple of days to uh, wrap up some more stuff over at the uh, ANC Nutrition and the Cardello uh, weight, weight Belt Factory there. Anything to say, Sean? Uh, I appreciate you taking the time to come work out with us. Better guy, but even trains harder than most people even see. And we showed you a little bit of behind the scenes stuff today. What he's doing when nobody's watching, that's what separates him. And that's why he's come for that Mr. Olympia this year. So, thanks, guys. Two great people. Extremely good people. Okay. Proud to know them. Oh. All right, here we are, day five of filming. We're here again at uh, Greater Boston Fitness in Revere, Mass. And uh, yesterday we did a crazy water workout, but it was more of just a pump. Only did a few sets, so I'm gonna actually do my shoulder workout tonight. I'm here with the lovely Chandra Bagwell. She is uh, one week out from the Junior USA's, and uh, she's looking good. She's an animal, and I have many different training partners. And she's one of the hardest working ones. I have to drag her out of here. So uh, we're gonna go kick some ass now. You look good. Thanks, very good. Getting leaner every day. Excellent, excellent. That's the idea. Nice meeting you. Say hello to Chandra Bagwell, bikini competitor, you in the Junior USA. Hi. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Where I've are you been, from? Nashville, Tennessee. There you go. I've been prepping for about 23 weeks now, and I'm in my final week, so next weekend. Yeah. The good old 23-week prep. <laughs> you out of your mind? I can't do more than 16 weeks, and I'm a bodybuilder. I need striated glutes. These girls are crazy. <laughs> She's one of the most disciplined and dedicated people I've ever met. She won't even have a sip of my drink. Because it doesn't fit Diet. her macros. Okay. Let's get a pump.
traps are sore. My traps are sore from the other day, though. From doing those those uh, deadlifts. Hey, what's up, man? I think we went up to four or five plates. It was enough. Yep. Train this morning. Yep. chick is killing herself doing shoulders. She's kind of narrow in the shoulders. It's a small girl to increase that taper. Have her kill her shoulders. So shoulders, back, and booty are the three main things that we kill on her. Everything else is secondary in real life. She's getting lean as you can see. She's pretty lean. She likes doing that bicep pose. I don't know why. You know, do some presses. Nice. We uh, have a few uh, pros in the area. His wife is one of them, Maria Luisa. Baez Diaz. It's Hispanic. Way too many names. Maria Luisa Baez Diaz. Yeah. But uh, she's a figure pro, going to Michigan. We'll check her out in a little bit. She's Jack. <laughs> the world's largest dumbbells. They're only like 85 pounds. They look like 150s. Debuting a new Cardillo belt. The Boston Mass, baby. He's made me every variation. Giant block letters, different smaller block letters. I got the power belt that's done as well. Get some dog drool on there. I got my signature on this one. It's a great one. Yep. Yep. things really make me look big. 85s. This is the biggest 85s you'll ever see. Because these aren't secured to the floor, I'm gonna have this lady, little lady stand up here so the bench doesn't move. I'm gonna go for, let's see, good eight to 10 maybe. I wanna watch Lou bench this. He's got 385 on the bench, 55 year old guy. He is nuts. We can't miss this. Yeah. 
Even me had dragged their weights. You gotta a little kick your ass out of here. Super he flipped out one day because I left a box out. I was doing step ups. She was doing step ups. And he was pacing the gym looking for someone to Who kick their ass. Who did and I had to go over and be like, Lou, that was me, sorry. <laughs> and he's like, oh, no big deal. But I could see his face. He asked about three different people, like, who the fuck left that there? <laughs> it was so funny. Thank God he likes me. You watched him for a minute. Just he, he's a bad SOB. 55-year-old guy look like that. No joke. I'm gonna do one more lighter set. Get some real good reps. That was decent, but I want to be able to get more than eight to ten. I want to squeeze out like twelve to fifteen. I do. don't don't let them know that you're gonna film this, but I want you to film them doing this set. You don't see that every day. Now that fires me up. Makes me want to train. At 55. You like stopped it like it was crazy before you did it. I love that. Now I gotta do that some justice. These are the 110s. Alright, right, get up the other way. See where someone might lose a finger there. Huh? One more. Fast. Beautiful. Good. Ooh. Done. Not bad. Done with the presses for now. Now we'll go back. That machine was more of a warm up pump, get the blood in there. Now we'll do some working sets with dumbbell side raises. But I'm gonna need some help getting the shirt off.
This has got to be the gayest dang top ever. I feel like I'm at the Blue Oyster wearing this thing. Basically naked. Use the world's biggest fittings. This place is a great environment, great energy. Every person in here trains hard, means business. There's no other gym like this in Boston, not even close. It's a hidden gem, just opened in December. If you look around, you got a lot of people training hard in here, a lot of meatheads. I like it. Okay. This one's gonna burn. Yeah. My forearms and hands are so shit. Oh, that was tough. This is what it takes. You want hard, gnarly muscle? You to go till every last fiber is burning, firing on all cylinders. Can't just do a couple reps, a couple sets. Gotta burn them deep. You ready, lady? There you go, good girl. Just a little trick that I taught myself. Just stumbled upon it. If you put yourself in a front relaxed pose, or put your lats out, and then do your raises, it eliminates everything. It's all felt. 
I did that when my shoulder was killing me and I couldn't come down here and yank it up. So I'm using lighter weight just doing this. And the burn in the shoulder's crazy. We're gonna go do the rear delt machine. Now the key to this exercise is to stay rounded like this. If you're like this, you're gonna use more lat, trap, everything in the middle. Stay rounded and use your rear delt. They are sore from yesterday. Crazy. That hill. Oh, the barrel. with that light. This ought to be fun. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 
New Yorkers, a little rough around the edges, but you know where they're coming from. They're not very sneaky type of people. I do a drop set. I'm gonna do eight with four, eight to ten with three, and another ten with two. Come on. Yep. I got it. Yeah. with a, a super set of them. Upright row, front rows. Upright row, front rows. Is that a bar? Yeah.
This turned out to be a pretty, pretty good workout. We got one set left. Do good. We gotta go. That's that away. We're gonna go one more exercise. I wanna do a rear delt dumbbell. Super set it with a light dumbbell front. I'm gonna do this beverage first. officially done. That concludes our shoulder workout. That was fabulous. Thank you so much, Lou and Frankie Nuzzo. 
here at Greater Boston Fitness. We have another 45 minutes of cardio to do. We're gonna head upstairs and hop on the step mill. We will uh, be meeting for a leg workout tomorrow night. Hopefully with IFBB Pro guy Tano Sistanino and my longtime training partner, Dr. Matthew Puglia. We'll be killing some legs. Most likely in Woburn at my gym, Today's Fitness, where I train most of my clients. Uh, it'll be later at night, 7.30, 8 o'clock at night, so it should be quiet and empty and not have any problems filming. But uh, today was a great workout. Thank you to Sean Bagwell, the Bikini Beast, for uh, keeping me motivated, keeping me pumped. She honestly works as hard as any guys I know, so you know, a lot of people are like, how the hell can you train with a broad? Well, one, when she looks that good, it isn't, isn't that difficult. And two, she's got the heart of a lion. She, she trains like an animal. I, as I said before, I gotta drag her out of here usually. Thankfully, she's uh, a little carb depleted pre-contest, so she's not really pushing me. Normally now, we'd finish a workout like that. She's like, I'm just gonna go do a couple things. So spend another 40 minutes doing all these crazy little exercises. Are we doing it? Yeah. Are we doing it? She's out of her mind, so. As you know, most, most women are. Sorry, ladies, you're all cooking. But, uh, until tomorrow, peace out. <laughs> Little kid's like, Daddy, look at this. The Boston Mass here in Boston Mass. We're about to go inside the John Hancock Hall. This is uh, has a, a lot of meaning to me because this is the very first show I did in my entire life in 1993, which was uh, 21 years ago. And the very first show I ever did, 18 years old. And uh, it's a beautiful day here. Hopefully be a packed house in there. It's getting busy. And um, as most bodybuilding shows go, it's running late. So we are able to wait for the crowd to clear out and come outside and do a little intro here. So it is amazing, beautiful. I actually am not cold at all wearing a tank top in the streets of Boston. It's beautiful. So let's go inside and check out the show. Right now, I'm standing right. Hi, how are you? I'm good, I'm working. You work out? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Did you ever wrist band? My skit, I think. All right, we talk. Jose. Sorry. You want me to follow you up there? Yeah. <laughs> Still in shape, basically. Only a few of them. It's actually easier to judge than the open. Is this your future, Jose? I hope not. For me? Um, no. Not, not exciting enough. And 113 change. That <laughs> yeah. actually looks really freaky in that. Right? Hey, yeah. let's take this. You, you actually look kind of big. Take this off for me. This way I can get him in.
Sí, que es pues, que este es mi hoyo. That was the workout of the day for me. Other than my cardio this morning, that's all I got to do. Cool. I actually met Jose through his older brother Tito, who was my age, and Tito and I used to compete together. And I kind of knew about Jose as his, you know, the little brother who was trying to follow in his big brother's footsteps. And at the time, Tito, especially in the 90s, Tito was pretty, pretty big deal. He was on a lot of magazine covers. So, you know, I never really expected Jose to blow up and become a bigger celebrity in this fitness industry than, uh, than his brother did. But eventually I got to know Jose, he did some, uh, some shows that I was at. And I, I really got to know him better uh, a few years ago. Started working out together here and there. And uh, I got to know him and he's just, uh, He's one of the most humble, real, down-to-earth guys you'll ever meet. He's got an incredible sense of humor as anybody that's had any interaction with him will tell you. Uh, physique speaks for itself. He's built like a tank. He's all about blue-collar hard work. He's just, uh, just an overall cool guy to know. Yeah, the, the thing I, I think a lot of people know the story, but it's, it bears repeating because you know, a lot of guys, they're so desperate to turn pro and they just want that pro card. He earned his pro card four different times, and he wouldn't accept it until he felt he had a legitimate shot to make an impact as a pro bodybuilder. And until they had the lighter weight division come out, that really wasn't within the realm of possibility. He's an amazing bodybuilder, but at 5'3", and competing around 190 at that time, when he had just turned pro, actually turned pro at 176, he just would have been lost up against these 250, 270 pound guys. And um, you know, the division, this 212, 20, it was 202 and now it's 212. The division was really tailor-made for someone like that. Someone might be smaller in stature, but you know, pound for pound, he's, he's got as much muscle as Jay Cutler or any of these guys. Let's go. We need a picture right here. Jiggle, jiggle. Bro, I don't even do these things anymore. Hold on a second. You get those pants down? You said, hold on a second. Oh, shit. Right. That's doing nothing. That's Let's doing get the nothing. picture. Look at those things. That is small. Small, yeah. Small. Look at those things. He hasn't trained legs. It's like, man, it's big. Yeah, I haven't done legs in uh, 16 years. <laughs> <laughs> it shows. It's like the fucking big. Uh, Damn, you can be able to walk these days if you're still doing people those People say things. bodybuilding is not genetic. <laughs> Flex just started training calves. Yeah, Flex is calves. I just went to, I just get mosquitoes to bite them. I got 20 mosquitoes. I got 20 mosquito bites here. Turn around. Yeah. Oh, see, no. Turn around and do this. That's it. Look at that. Ouch. That looks wow. painful. So, no, no, I got 16 actually. 16 year and 4 year the mosquito bites. Just see it. Uh, yeah? Oh, that thing. It's smooth. Keep working on it. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that. Looks pretty good. That's good. That's good. Good. From Moroccan. Nice. If you were from Wales, <laughs> it would be much better. Yeah. For the hills. Yeah. For a tall Moroccan. Hey, a picture. 
<laughs> Which body part are you going to do? Yeah, me. Schmeckle. <laughs> nice. <laughs> The pickle. The pickle. 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 Yeah. What, yeah. What is going on here? It's sexy. Um, okay. Is it? Ah! You see all that? This is for my um, my gay affiliates. They all like me. The, the bears. They're like, dude. I get messages on Facebook. Do you do you have any grizzly bear photos? I'm like, no. Whenever I'm in shape, I tend to shave it. But just re recently, I've been lazy, and this is for uh, this is for you, muscle hunts. There's nothing on your abs, though. Oh, there is. Good. Morocco. <laughs> Good, my friend. Good. I was 29. Good job. All right, I'll do mine too. Oh yeah, let's see it. Come on, kid. See the schmetter. Get closer, get closer. Get closer. Calm down. Calm down. Make sure you get underwear, man. Look at those things. There you go. How many on this each? Yeah, pretty good, pretty good. Yeah. First you pull your calves up next to flex. <laughs> now you're gonna try this. Pretty good. Yeah. Are we in a contest here? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Not bad, right? Uh, Not going out. <laughs> That's funny. The Titans coming in the back here, Jose? Nothing. Yeah, well, I see him. I see the movement there, bro. Lift <laughs> your t shirt up a little. You have a more in the morning. You see it in the morning. In the morning when I'm dry, it is. Yeah. They're coming. I see you when you moved. No muscle fibers twitching. Yeah, oh yeah. See when you move. From the side. You twitch it from the side? Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Can you flick your ass? No, no. Like, like Henry does? <laughs> does he really? Yeah. Henry makes it wave. Yeah. I do this side chest and it waves like. Does it really? Yeah. Right. It's crazy. If we, if I started doing that, no hand, you'd be like, oh, I, 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 like you can do it. Did you just said it. You just said you can do it. You can do it like that. No, I got the side. Like really? Oh yeah, yeah. Just flick your. Yeah. This is not a one. What do you, what do you call it? Flicking your ass. That's not easy to do. It rolls like a wave. What's his name does it? Marcus Haley does it. Henry does it. It's just your ass. Yeah. Just twitch it. You what? Twitch it. Yeah. Twitch. Your ass. Twitch your ass. What is it? Arse. 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 Look at that. Nice. Arse. What is the Moroccan image? She got a quake. Arse. Can you hear me? How's my sound? Good? Perfect. All right, yeah, four-time Mr. Olympia Jay Cutler here at the Jay Cutler Classic in 2013. And, of course, uh, you know, we're here, of course, doing a video for Jose Raymond, who's a good friend of mine. I got the opportunity to train with Jose, followed him for years, of course, coming from Massachusetts. Uh, good friends, you know. Uh, He's had uh, quite a track record, of course, competing in the NBC and, of course, now in the IFBB. Pretty much dominating the 212 division, you know, started as a 202 guy. Uh, you know, this guy competed, I think, all the way down from a weight all the way up, so uh, he's put on a lot of size over the years, and uh, he's one of the stronger guys I've actually trained with, and uh, I look forward to coming out every year to, uh, to Massachusetts to actually catch up to him. Uh, I don't get to see him that much at the shows. Of course, I see his brother Tito out in California a lot when I train out in Venice at his gym. But, uh, you know, he represents Massachusetts. I mean, they call him the Boston Mass for a reason. And, uh, you know, he's always at my shows and supporting. He's guest posed here a few times. And uh, you know, I usually have him on the judging panel just for his expertise in that. And, of course, his, his uh, training ability for all, a lot of the athletes.
comments that are in the show. He helps out, and uh, he's a great influence for bodybuilding. And uh, you know, we're proud to have him. So I want to wish him the best of luck with the with the video, and of course, uh, all his fans out there that continue to support him. And uh, you know, I know he's gunning for a couple of big shows this year, trying to still bring home that Olympia title at the end of the year. So we'll be back on stage. You know, I've seen backstage at the Olympia uh, since they have the finals together with the Mr. Olympia in the, in the 212 uh, Olympia division. So it'll be cool to see him knock it out and you know, keep uh, keep pushing those weights and uh, wishing him a healthy season. Do you think the 212s were tailor made for people like him? Uh, yeah, 212s. I mean, Jose is a compact bodybuilder. I mean, he's, he's got a lot of beef. I mean, there's guys with shape and whatever else. But this guy, I mean, he's another one that he drops down to that weight and I think he really competes a lot bigger than 212 because he carries a lot of mass. He trains really heavy and uh, he's super, super thick. I mean, that's how he wins. You know, Jose is not one of these aesthetic guys where I think that's where he won early in his career. He's more of a, of a power bodybuilder where he out muscles guys and out conditions guys. And I think that's his key. So I think he's continuing to, uh, to, to showcase that and, of course, uh, you know, continue to dominate that division. I mean, I hope he gets it. I thought last year was the year. Uh, hopefully 2013 brings him uh, the expectations that I have also. I wear when I train. Leggings? Yeah, my ass and legs are too big to wear normal pants. So this is the house I grew up in. This is uh, this was the dining room. This is a little li living room. Because we didn't have heat. So all this, this heat, the, there was no heat upstairs. You didn't live there, I did. See that hole right there? That's what heated the upstairs. This thing would have to get red hot for any heat up, at all to go upstairs. And my brother Michael slept in there, so he was crispy. The rest of us had icicles hanging from our bowls. So he went up the stairs too. This was me when I was uh, gay for a little while. I went through a gay scene and, and was wearing, uh, I'm just kidding, I was never gay. But uh, I was wearing gay shorts. That was a good friend of mine, Rick Schaff, shot that on Venice Beach. I was about 155 pounds there. That was a few weeks after I won the Nationals in 01. God, I was... <laughs> This you're gonna love. Oh my this god. This is me at sixteen years old. When you look at look at this boy here. That's my senior picture. When I was sixteen years old. Yes, I was a senior in high school at sixteen years old. This is a cute little kitchen. This is where lots and lots of beer was consumed throughout my time. We had lots of parties. This little kitchen would have about fifty high school kids or college kids in it at one time. We would party like rock stars. Aww. You have to see this. This room looks like something that would be in a dollhouse or um, for just miniature people, which I guess I was a miniature storage. person. Don't worry, it's storage now. But when you see this room, you'll understand why I'm so short. They stunted my growth by yeah. putting me in a little Listen room. Listen to stunted. I was meant to be right. six Jeez. feet tall. Just be careful going up the stairs. Yeah. All right. Anybody that comes to Oh, there's no light. Uh, Look at this. I'm 5'3", and my head is hitting this thing. Okay? That so, wasn't your bedroom. That was Pammy's bedroom. Mom, this is the bedroom you made for me. It's the first bedroom I ever had in my life. Where's the light? You've got to see this. You I don't even know if there's one in here. Give me a flashlight. Give me a flashlight. This is hilarious. It opens like this. It's just paneling. And then there's little He's shelves not in there. To put taping all this, is he? Mom. What? This is reality. People want to know. When I lived and grew up in the ghettos of Wakefield. <laughs> uh, okay. Alright, so basically you just see this. You can't see shit, I'm sure. But there's that little bed. There's probably some animals in here or something, but paneling. And this was my life. Okay? There was five of us. So you count one, two, three, four bedrooms. Okay. So one of us. Look at this bedroom. This is a nice one. Oh yeah, this is fantastic. I had this one when I was a senior in high school too. What they did was they bought me a water bed, so I would actually have warmth in the in the winter. So we would crank the heat in the water bed up to you know 90 degrees and. I wouldn't freeze to death, it would be high, <laughs> hypothermic. But this is how it is, you know? And this is the old school house I grew up in. 
And my mom is still here, loving every minute of it. Yeah. Yeah. But that room is though. That's the main room I wanted to see you to see because, well, these strange people that have been walking around in this video here. Yeah, they're two white people and I'm brown, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense, right? But these, this is Jerry Raymond and Roger Raymond. This is where the name Raymond comes from. I was actually born Sotomayor, Puerto Rican, wow. 100%. Jose was, was only six weeks when I got him. Yeah, imagine that, how adorable. I had a big afro and uh, muscles. And this, so this is something I want them to, uh, what was my nickname as a child? Bear. There we go. Because I had paws on me. You look like a grizzly bear. Yeah. From from day one. Mm -hmm. So people are like, oh Jose Jose's hands are from growth hormone and all this stuff. I was a beast even at, at, as a baby. baby. Even yeah. you know, from day one I was always a big kid and uh a little um overly exuberant. This is um more than just a training DVD, this is a documentary, kind of, of who I am. All my fans and people have seen me train a million times online, but they've never seen this side of me. So right? you don't want me to tell them all the bad things that you've done? Uh, you know, you can tell whatever you like. <laughs> I have plenty of, of stories, um, <laughs> but we can go back and forth if you like. Uh, no, no, never mind. We'll my, my dad, uh, yeah. As a child, I had a... I'll tell one story. As a child, I had a, um, an affinity for sleeping on the floor. Come on. Next to people. I won't finish the story, but... Uh, <laughs> I used to sleep at my brother Tito's bedside. Always. Until he finally he's like, enough's enough. I used to talk all night. You slept on my side. He's skipping that yeah. one. Yeah. I slept... Uh, I would always crawl over and sleep on the floor next to them as well. Let's just say my father um, forgot I was there one night. Oh. We'll end it with that. Um, but anyway. I forgot about that one. Yeah, I'll never yeah. forget that. So, we have many stories, memory, many memories, great stories in this house. Yeah. And I thought it was important for um, my parents to, to be seen in this video. You used to love to play with his toys in the bathtub. It was hysterical. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll shut up. Still do, baby. <laughs> you put your little what's in and you put it through a hole in the tree? Right. <laughs> Isn't this fabulous? <laughs> this is the one story she remembers out of all the wonderful things I've done. Now, what was it again? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The what's it, she called it. Gilligan's Island. Yeah, I had a Gilligan's Island set that I used. Had a tree had with a, a knot hole in it. And he used to put it over him and stick his what's it out the knot hole. Really? How about when he showed his what's, what's it to the teachers and kids in school when he had his circumcision? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I got circumcised at nine years old. You remember that? Yeah. I forgot that. Yeah, that was fabulous. So, um, this is a lot of fun, right here. Um, like I said, I grew up in the ghetto of Wakefield, and this is what we're seeing. So, um, on that note, if we have nothing else to uh, cover here, um, thanks for being here, and thanks for being in it. And uh, I'm very proud of you. I'm proud of you, too. Well done. Hey. Yep. Do you recognize Tito? Mm -hmm. Oh, here's another one of Tito. Oh, yeah. Tito and Amy right there. Yeah. Yeah, that was the kind of stuff he could do. He would one little twist and it would be a cover shot. Okay. What Sunday? Yeah. This Sunday? Yeah. Mother's Day. Uh-huh. Right. You know how I many mothers I know? I gotta get out there and, you know? <laughs> Yeah, she's made a living of that. We could have called the DSS 900 times for her little slappy do's. This is true. But luckily, I was a little animal. I would just hit her back. And she'd be crying and going, no, you hit me, you're getting hit back. Take that as a lesson, He's so women. full of bull. Ladies, mothers, you hit, you get hit back. Fair is fair. No, that's a joke. I don't really beat women. But when I do, I do it right. <laughs> all right, we gotta go. Time to go. We've seen all the close-ups. Are there any other ones? I think there's one of me and Tito. Oh, Jerry there is. Springer.
This is me. Jose. I know, Mother, but I can do one at a time. You're going to do one at a time. This is when I was in the A.C. Slater, Saved by the Bell look. Okay. Mom, stop talking. And um, I was approximately 11 or 12 years old there. Yeah, seventh grade, I think, sixth grade. But, uh, yeah, Tito was like 14, 15. Was that picture was taken for? What it was taken for? Yeah. For you guys. For me. Father's for, Day. For Father's Day, yeah. What a good-looking group, huh? Jesus. Pammy thought she was Madonna or something there. She was more like Medusa. <laughs> Holy shit. That's crazy. All right. Oh, yeah, two beefcakes in the... On Venice Beach. That's a great shot. I love that picture. Me and Tito. Tito was about, that was like 1998. I got one like that, but you're patient. Yeah, that's awesome. I don't even have this picture. So, uh, it's good stuff. Hopefully. Me and my leotard needs to go home and eat, get some rest, and do this all over again tomorrow. So, say goodbye to mom and dad. <laughs> I don't say anything else but bye and thank you. Bye. All right, Pop. See ya. All right, thank you guys. <laughs> Love you. Bye bye. Let's go. I get back. What's up? We are uh, day six filming today. We're here at Today's Fitness in Woburn, Mass. This is my uh, primary gym that I train at uh, probably three, four times a week. And I train my clients here as well. So um, we've been going to a whole different mishmash of gyms. And the other gym that I train at, Greater Boston Fitness in Revere is uh, more of the hardcore gym. This has great leg equipment where I'm at now. And uh, it's a little quieter tonight, so we'll be able to do it. We're gonna be training with uh, anyone that's watched my videos in the past is familiar with Dr. Matthew Puglia, who is uh, one of my best friends in my life and uh, has missed only a handful of shows in the last 12 years. He's at every one of my shows. He's my physical therapist, my training partner, and uh, has really saved me from myself in the last 10 years, you know. I, I tend to be a knucklehead trying to go crazy and, um, you know, he, he's a big part of why I'm able to stay healthy and uh, do what I'm doing and added a lot of longevity to my career. So, uh, love this guy. He's, uh, he's a character. He's very quiet, probably won't say a whole lot, um, but he's going to kick my ass today. So, enjoy this. Dr. Puglia, say hello. How you doing? Matthew Puglia. I just explained to him who you are and what you're doing and uh, that you probably won't say a whole lot. I don't talk. And uh, <laughs> that we're, we're going to go do some legs and you're going to try to save me from hurting myself any further. Lots of warming up. Yeah. Lots of warming up. Lots of warming up. I got a little sciatic pain right now. And once I get going and everything's flowing, I'm good. So, um... That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna start off with some extensions, get tons of blood flowing. And at this point, I'm only three weeks out, so I don't really need to be going nuts. I just wanna be etching some detail, but we basically live by a rule. If we can lift it safely, pain-free, we will do it. So if for some reason I'm feeling good and strong, don't be surprised to see me moving some pretty good weight. Now Matt and I are very similar in that uh, we're both old and feel lots of pain in those legs. We train legs with Ron Harris, but for some reason, his legs are made of rubber. He could sit down and start with the whole stack on this leg extension, and no pain. Then we go over and squat, and he's bouncing his ass off his ankles. It's crazy. But I suppose there's a trade-off, because every other part of his body is in agony. Shoulders, elbows, neck, everything. Some people might be wondering what the 
homo pants are about. I wear. Yeah, I, these are special for when I train with Matt because he's like embarrassed to walk in the building with me. But I love the compression, keeps my legs warm. And then, especially if I gotta wrap up, wrap my knees, there's some protection there. The, uh, and when I use wraps and it digs into my skin, it hurts like a bastard. So, uh, there's nothing like these. I always wear tights when I train legs. Some are thicker, like a running pants. These are actual spandex. These are the best ones, they feel so good. I feel them full of blood every set and then stretch the hell out of them. I think that's the key to growth of any muscle, is consistent stretching and hard stretching so you feel it. This is going to be a blast. If I sit too far up forward, my ass is so big I can't reach the handles. I feel like one of those you see like a 60 year old lady on here with a big muffin ass? She's like this, turtle in it, she can't reach the handles. It's kind of like me. I hate them. Yep. Oh. I met Jose when we were in high school. We both wrestled on different teams. We kind of grew up in surrounding towns. We were both into the, already into the weight training and everything. And Jose looked like a miniature version of himself then. He was just a jacked up little kid. I think he wrestled like 140. He's like two years younger than me. And everybody was like, oh my God, this kid's, you know, a freak. And I don't know, somewhere around, I don't know, late 90s, uh, we had done a bodybuilding show at the same time. And we figured out that we live right near each other. So we said, hey, we should start training. So we've been training together ever since, off and on. Um, mostly on, but now I have kids. So our, our schedules don't really match that well. Check this out. After one exercise. Veins everywhere now. Zero separation because they're so pumped. Which leg press you want to do? Props to Reebok, baby. $240 lifting shoes.
a longer bar, it's about two inches longer. And you get rid of them. Actually feels good. Anyone at home, if you're having knee, hip, back problems, try doing what we're doing today. You know, lots and lots and lots of sets before your real compound movements. Four, five, six, seven sets, extensions. We did four sets of 20 to 25 reps on the leg press. Now your body's a little more ready to squat. Come on, man. Yep. Pretty good.
Good workout, baby. We don't half ass shit. We're going in for the win in Toronto. Some serve some notice. And I'm coming for the Olympia. This will be my fifth straight Olympia. I've been a threat at every one of them. This year will be no different. I'm gonna go in better than ever. Last year I took my foot off the gas, intentionally trying to come in prettier and match Flex and Henry with aesthetics. Bullshit, that's done. I'm not aesthetic. I wasn't meant to be aesthetic. I gotta play my game. Come out and be a fucking monster. And that's what I'm gonna be. I'll be the biggest, baddest motherfucker in the 212s. That's it. Now, whether the judges like it or not, that's up to them. But my job is to be a badass. And I'm going to be. For you viewers at home, cardio is priceless when it comes to weight training and getting stronger and making improvements. I don't do it just for its fat burning abilities and to strengthen my heart, my whole cardiovascular system, but it makes workouts like this tolerable much easier. We're, we're moving along pretty good and moving some weight and uh, if you don't have good cardio, man, this can really suck. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Huh? Let's see it. It's gotta be the knee wraps. It's gotta be the knee wraps. This thing sucks. 1989. It hurt like hell. Okay. Now, if I could keep my back and knees healthy enough for long enough. I could work to well over 600, but that's not necessary for what I'm trying to do. The extensions in the leg press only takes a plate off. Right. Easy. So we don't train that way. Typically, if I can't get 10 reps, I don't want to do it. I'll just stick them both together. Now. I don't think it's necessary to train with the same. Ah, uh, unabandoned, you know, you know, crazy style that you did as a younger guy, trying to get big. But it is necessary to train heavy to maintain that density, that look. I know from experience. Last year I took time off from heavy deads, heavy squats, and I had numerous people tell me something was off. Your legs were down. Well. And they were. I went back and looked and went over in my head what the hell went wrong. And that's exactly what it was. I didn't train the way I like to train, the way I normally train. I didn't lift no heavy weight like that. And that swell of my legs just looking crazy when I walked out on stage, that wasn't there. Normally when I walk out on stage, I hear people like, what the fuck? My legs are usually just stupid looking. 
And I, that, that wasn't the case last year. And that's what I need to get back to. I gotta have some kind of wow factor, some kind of freak factor to get considered with the top guys. You know, Flex got those crazy glutes, crazy calves, crazy forearms. David Henry, crazy. Kevin English is just all around crazy, you know? I need to be crazy looking. I can't fit in or I get lost in the shuffle. You know, if there's a, if you got a dominant freaky body part, you know, do you stop training it to try to even everything out and look more in your symmetry? Bodybuilding is a freak show, man. It really is. If you got freaky legs, embrace it. Make them freakier. If you got freaky arms, make them freakier. At least that separates you from everyone else. You know what? People don't get noticed by being the same as everyone else. You wanna, you wanna stand out. You wanna stand out in this sport. You know, people make fun of me for being too vascular. Your veins are distracting, it's disgusting, blah, blah, blah. Well, it makes me stand out. I'm one of the most vascular people in pro bodybuilding. And uh, people know me for it. And they look for it. Don't kid yourselves. You all say it's ugly and disgusting, but first thing you look for when I'm on stage is look how gnarly looking his legs are. Nasty spaghetti all over his legs. You know? So no. I get nasty legs. I'm gonna train them. Try to make them better and better and better. Bigger and more crazy looking. So if you got something crazy, make it crazier. But these are great exercises. This is why I love leg day. Because it's cardio, man. You know, I'm panting pretty much the whole time I'm here. And uh, you know, I'm not saying I train the hardest, but I won't let a day go by where I think someone's out training me. I'm not going to skimp on anything. I do everything I gotta do to be better and make improvements. Ah. Sweep for my leg. Just smoking right now. Oh. A lot of times. I'll add like uh, four, five, six sets of hamstrings, just quick and easy. Not tonight. I'll probably do that Monday or something, Monday or Tuesday. But uh, and then on Tuesday I'll do you know four, five, six sets of extensions or lunges or something, just to touch on the quads a little bit again. But we're good for now. We're good. Sauce we're walking over to Sauce right now. It's about 200 yards from here, yeah. uh, which is more than my fat ass wants to walk, but it's all right. 
I did cardio this morning. This is my post-workout cardio. This place is awesome. It has incredible. Look at this Tacoma. This is nice, right? Yeah. It's kind of what you want. The hard top. In the yeah, back. But it's tiny, small. ADD. I want a big one. Oh, for family. Anyway, so uh, Sauce is owned by some young kid. Started it what about four years ago? Yep. 31 years old. Him and his brother. His brother's an attorney in Bacta, but it's so convenient. It's like a, literally a block away. The famous firehouse is right behind it. And so you uh, don't have to go into firehouse and pay 18 bucks for oh, pancakes. It's ridiculous. These guys give you a little better deal. And the food is organic. It's great. And give you a bigger, better portion. And the price is cheaper. I mean, everything about the firehouse is like, how are they still open? You know how they're open is because of the, the history. You know, the famous firehouse. But this place is for real eaters, people who, uh, you know, like us, they enjoy their food and uh, eat a lot. This is the place to go. Yeah. You can have breakfast at dinner time. You can have dinner at breakfast time. Where, you know, like some of the other places, you can only have dinner from 4 to 9 or whatever. Or breakfast from 7 to 10 and it's lunchtime. And yeah. Yeah, what, what he said. What I said. All I know is it's good food. Great food. I eat there every time I'm here. And they have warm chocolate chip cookies. Ah, oh, free. They give you free. Free warm chocolate chip cookies as a parting gift. How do you beat that? You can eat outside on the sidewalk, you can eat inside. What were you supposed to call David? Bole? Oh, no, he's there, yeah. He sent me a picture of my food a half hour ago. Oh, my God. Okay, go. Yeah. We're going to eat out here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they, they put your food uh, to keep it warm, so they put it ah, Okay. And since my boy, he's here. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. This so, thing is, the, the, the Gold's Gym is now owned by a hotel company. It's a corporation that owns it. And it's, they own Omni Hotels. I don't get the correlation between hotels and Gold's Gym. Just the it's just yeah. this, you know, yeah. and the thing yeah. of it was that they, that they, they treat, they treat it like it's a hotel chain. I mean, they even have the guys that do the maintenance say housekeeping on their shirt. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. It's. We're lucky know. with Josh and, and Red Jason though. Those that, two that, guys are that's it. Cool. Josh and Jason are great. But that's just Gold's Venice. The other one, who knows what's going on. Right, yeah. right. But we're yeah. lucky. Those guys are. Because they've been around us a, a long, long time. time. So they know everybody here. Cool. Yeah. Well, I know. I, I've been coming out here 15 years now. Plus, more than that. I started coming out here in, what, 90, 98. And back then, it was you just come in and high five the guy and walk in. I know. What's up, man? This is awesome, you know. It was run differently. Yeah. And now there were individual owners that actually worked out. And yeah. Last time I was here, the girl was like, "Well, do you have a pro card?" I was like, "Not on me." No, I actually did. Oh, you did. Okay. Yeah, I had to pull it out. I felt so corny. I'm like, "Here, here you go." And then there was some kid behind the desk. I was like, "Come on, man." That's all they really. Yeah, he's all right. Just let him go. And I end up signing in and had the weekend pass or whatever, but to, you know, figure this is the mecca. If it wasn't for guys like me, this place wouldn't exist, right. you know. Amazing. And they're trying to turn it into LA Fitness, uh, which it will never be. People come here for a reason yes. because it's not LA Fitness. Oh, oh beautiful! Oh, there you go. That's what you wanted. Oh, look at this meal. So what are we? What are we eating, you guys? Jose's going with the beef. He's got the sirloin uh, and eggs. Ice tea? Ice tea. And I've got, a, a, I've got a simple <laughs> chicken Dijon. And can I have a bunch of Yum. Yeah. And spinach with lemon, with lemon. sweet potatoes. Got it. What's up, Ben? How are you? And we need silverware, too. Now, Tito, you eat here every day. This is your... I, eat, I eat here every day. You love this place. I love this place. It's yeah. These guys are great. Um, Those potatoes you were eating earlier. That's them. Yeah. <laughs> They're from here. Yep. Yeah. Oh, my God. They, these lights saved my life. Yeah. They yeah. really do. Right because I don't really eat a whole lot of carbs generally. Um, and the carbs that I do eat, these are a staple. Yeah. And I'll have them for breakfast, I'll have them for lunch, and I'll have them for dinner too. <laughs> and, and they just, they're clean, they're efficient. I have my squeam on still. Ah, oh, I can 
breathe. I still have this belt on. Oh, really? Yeah. Like those bikini girls, they wear the squeam all day long. I wear my belt all day. Yeah, we're just gonna go take a walk now, and then uh, Rory's actually gonna drive down. Uh, Rory's driving down. Clean up well. Yeah. This is my boy Adam Rodriguez. He's got a prediction for the Olympia this year. I got a prediction. It better come true. Got to take home the O this year. All right. This is his year. Look at the man. I mean, he looks incredible. He knows the best shape of his life. Worked hard. Put the time in. He deserves it. So. This is the year right here. He knows a thing, a thing or two about bodybuilding too. Why? How do, how do you know? <laughs> not, not, look, look at his body. <laughs> He's a magic mic. Did you see those abs? Shaking, yeah. shaking that booty of his? Yeah, I'm a little more about a G-string dancer. Yeah, the yeah, bodybuilding. Yeah. I'll leave that to you because yeah. I don't know if I'm going to ever have my name on the back of this belt. I don't think I'll ever have the Boston Mass. I'll get one made for you. Yeah, maybe something smart. The Puerto the, Rican The Boston ass. Miss. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, that, that was me on the back of the day. Yeah. That's hilarious, man. But yeah, brother, this is it, man. You deserve it, man. Thanks, so buddy. hopefully this is the year. You guys are following him around for a reason, so. That's right. Hopefully you just missed. We had another camera here, too. Oh, yeah? A full crew. Yeah, three Walking around all day. Yeah. Get out of here, man. All day what in the gym. Like? I feel like Adam Rodriguez. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Sensei. Yeah, you're welcome. See you. Manana. 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 Would you like one? No, I'm good. I'm so full. If I have anything else, I'm going to... Thank you, Bert. All right, we're done. We train. We eat. Now we're going to go back to my brother's house and uh, play with the kids a little bit. You get to see uh, these beautiful little children that I only get to see a few times a year. And uh, I get to see them on messages and, and on the phone and, and talk to them, but they grow like weeds. So we're going to uh, go have some fun. Yeah, go swimming. He's gonna pee his pants. Yeah. I might uh, have a beer or two, so watch how I do. Welcome to my humble abode. We are at my residence now. My boys are here. My wife is not, but my boys are here. They're having a little play date. <laughs> nice, you guys playing Legos. Legos oh, yeah. We just renovated the garage because my boys are getting bigger and uh, we're running out of space. So, you see, this is my mini gym I got here treadmill, spinning bike. Power rack, dumbbells, you know the power blocks? I have the power blocks over there, 125. And then I've got Olympic weights over there. See my Olympic weights? All right. Got about 500 pounds worth of weight over there. Meow. Meow. Before. I don't have a booby trap though. Okay. Okay, since you choose the next one, I choose that one. This is nice. This little room. We are at my brother's in his playroom. He hasn't finished, but he obviously he's got the Boston stuff here. Larry Bird, William McGinnis, and uh, Boston Red Sox here. Oh my gosh. Even though he's been out here 15 years, he's still a huge Boston you fan. one day to build that. Did you know that? Uh, oh, there's his trophies, huh? We do have a few selling. Oh, you Would you like them? No, no, yeah. No, his wife wanted him to get rid of it all. And as a joke, the, uh, the builder that did it all put it all up here. He had overheard her yelling at him about it. So he actually did it and put the lighting to come right down on it. And it came out pretty cool. So now, I think it's going to stick. That was weird. Yeah. Want a beer? Sure. See, Stella? Don't mess around. I'll tell you, sometimes I'll have a 
12 pack of beer that'll last me six months until I get here. Until he gets here and he drinks it. Good taste. Like the only beer I'll There you go. Cheers. 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 Right over the Patriots pool table. Twitch TV. What you got? You got something for me? This is my uh, George Jetson. Will this hold my weight, Tito? What? Yeah. It will? Yeah. We're gonna find out. Me and George Jetson. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is going in the house. I mean, although it's a fun chair to have out here, it's. I want it to be like the sitting reading area for like. Remember the Jetsons? This is what they flew around in. Something like this. And everything I say echoes in here. Yeah. This is pretty cool. Yeah. I've never sat in a bubble since I was a child and had lived to be quarantined. In lived in a bubble, yeah. Chicken pox. The bubble Boy. You ever I seen was, that movie? The oh, bubble yeah, Boy? Jake Gyllenhaal. <laughs> Running around in a bubble. Mm -hmm. That was great. <sighs> you babe, babe, come here. We don't have any you gotta introduce your wife. <laughs> Just come here. We don't have any seats babe. Anything. Stop. I tell Julian not to come here. I tell this him. is my sexy wife. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, hi. So Amy was actually like my childhood love goddess. <laughs> when I was in college, I had posters of her all over the walls, long before I ever met her. And she had you know, thong pictures in the water with her booty up in the air. <laughs> she still got booty. Oh, no, don't yeah, do she that. still got booty. Don't be like that. And then, uh, and then he met me and he said, oh my god, you're such a turn off. Yeah. <laughs> and then I met her. No, I met her uh, in 1998. And, or was it earlier than that? 98. 98. Yeah. yeah. Well, Thanksgiving. Yeah. And uh, you guys shot together. Yeah. And everything that I dished out, she brought back and then some. So I'm like, I love this lady. <laughs> you know? I was like hitting on her. She's like, you think you're a little badass, don't you? So I was like, at first I was like ignoring her, like, who do you think you are? You know, inside I'm like, I'm gonna get that. <laughs> and lo and behold, my brother gets it. <laughs> so I, I can live vicariously through him. Yeah. And, That's uh, funny. Can we talk about what we were talking about? What? You can say whatever you so want. We were talking about, he was like trying to scare me with things like, oh, do you like your salad tossed? And I was like, <laughs> Throwing in there, yeah, with some hot fudge. Yeah. <laughs> she was worse than me, and he's looking at me going, dude, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to ruin this. Cut the shit. He's doing it all. I'm like, nah, she's, she's bringing it back. I'm like, maybe you ought to step aside and let a real man take care of this. And uh, then she rented a movie, came over with a diesel skull cap on. I'll never forget this shit. Yeah, you yeah. remember the color? Yeah. Remember the we movie? Drinking, we yeah, it was yeah. at Armageddon. Armageddon. Yeah. Yeah. We were drinking Cat Morgan's. So. Yeah. We, were, we, got, uh, we got a little buzz on. Yeah. She came over and then she laid on my lap. That's when I got up and left. I was like, <laughs> damn it. <laughs> I'm going to hang out with the gay guy. <laughs> yeah, we were all three on the couch and I think both of them were trying to figure out which one does she like and I went for the quiet one. You know? Yeah. Yeah, laid on his lap and then Jose said, I'm out. Good night. They always do. <laughs> He's been screwing me my whole life. Yeah. All the chicks wanted him. But I'm sorry, I got a I got a pro card. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go swimming. Yeah. Wanna see a meatball swim? Meatball. Yeah. I'm gonna try to see what I can do. I'll look real funny in there. I'm not the best swimmer. I can I can doggy paddle and stuff, but it is a funny sight. What'd you say? Are you gonna come in? Daddy, you have you to. You want me to? Okay. You gotta watch it. I'm gonna go cook. If I want. There's a warm spot over there. Wait, did you pee in it? No. It has a Tastes kinda of salty. Diaper. <laughs> yeah, hot. Ah, you gotta wait till people get out of the way. You gotta get out of the way. Oh it's pretty warm. Oh yeah. It's uh Yeah, but it's fun. Oh, yeah. What kind of splash I get? See if I can soak the camera.
We have to have a contest here. You guys have to just jump off the back. Uh -oh. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, three. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ooh, I'm going to pull the hamstring. <laughs> 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 I get around. That was good. That was the first time I've done that in probably five years. Now we're starting to eat it. That was good. Not as good as his. Not as good as Jose's? Something crazy. Daddy! Oh, he's gonna do a diving toy! You ready? Hold on, come here. What? Wait, wait, wait. What diving toy? Go. He's going for it. I found another rock over there. Oh, watch out, Jose. Watch what he's gonna do. Oh! 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 No, that was a good one. I think I'm going to my chest. <laughs> All right. This is Julian Raymond. Hi. Hi. And you're going to be how old? Yep. Eight. When? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. That's what I'm out here for. For this guy's birthday. I came 3,000 miles just to see you. Oh, my ears are Yeah. <laughs> Very welcome. This kid's the best. I've had him since he was... Uh, Fresh, fresh, fresh new baby. We had the best picture of me ha having him on my shoulders going through SeaWorld. <laughs> and he was the cutest little thing on earth. He was like 18 months old, two months old. Do people tell you you're a good looking dude once in a while? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tell, them, tell the camera what you told um, your buddy at school. What you told me. <laughs> If they, if, if they give you a hot time, who's coming? If, that if they keep messing with me and trying to hurt me, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my uncle. <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be in big trouble. Yeah. That's right. That's right. You're going to be a fun one. What's your name? Talk to the camera. Cruz. Cruz. <laughs> You're Cruz? Yeah. How old are you? How old are you? Four and a half. Four and a half. What's your favorite thing to do? Huh? Run around the mall? Run from me? No. No? Make lots of noise? No. Eat sugar and go crazy? No. One of them. No? What's your new what's your new passion? Warcraft or what is that called? Minecraft. Minecraft? My favorite thing to do is the world one and then Minecraft of the computer version. Yeah, all right, that makes lots of sense. <laughs> Good job. So this is the, the crazy one of the two. He's gonna be uh, probably doing the jujitsu over here with this guy and uh, <laughs> he would have stabbed me in the eye putting people in arm bars. Yeah, oh for sure. Yeah. Probably be playing football and all the other angry stuff that boys do. It's funny because my wife won't let Julian play football, but she'll let him because because he's mean. He's tough. He's like he's got a hard, big old head. He's got a Slovakian head. Her mom's side of the family. I have a peanut head. His head's almost the same size as mine. That cruz. Big head means you have a big brain. <laughs> All right, Mikey, what do you think about uh, this Jose character? Jose? The man, the myth. Love him because uh, a couple different things, man. 
the mass is uh, he's a freak of strength love that you know me I am sick that way um, besides just being a cool cat man known him forever known him and his uh, his little brother yeah I said his little brother um, big little brother but uh, yeah you got to get the video video DVD I got to get mine it's gonna charge me double price for it but that's all right man I love the guy I love the guy. look at him man how do you love this guy you didn't realize he was that tall, did you? I got heels on, so shh, don't yeah, say nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Boom! Big boy. Man, what can I say about Jose Raymond other than he's the man? He's taking it from uh, the amateur ranks all the way through the pro ranks and to watch him come along over the years. And I, I train with his brother every single day. I see his brother every day in the gym. And to, to watch what Jose has done, to watch how proud that his uh, brother is of him, kind of reminds me of me and my brothers. You know, my younger brother is a power lifter, took it to the limit. Jose is a bodybuilder, just taking it to the limit. And uh, Mr. Olympia better watch out because he's coming, man, gunning for you. Wow. I'll tell you, I've I known Jose for quite some time. I've seen it come through the ranks. Unbelievable with the tenacity that he has on trying to succeed. And he will succeed. The thing of it is, he's put size on, shape, everything. The whole package is there, now he's ready. They better be aware. Right, we're walking from Gold's Gym. I just finished doing 45 minutes of cardio, talking to some of the characters over there at the gym. We're gonna walk over to the firehouse. This is my last weekend to be able to do anything stupid. So I'm gonna grab a stack of chocolate chip buckwheat pancakes or something with peanut butter smeared all over it and, and all the fixings. So uh, this is gonna be good. So we were crossing the street and the light was red. I got a jaywalking ticket right here. It was unbelievable. I was so mad. I figured, I don't live in LA. I live in Boston, so I never paid it. That thing went up to like 790 bucks or something. So I can't get pulled over in LA. All right, here we go. Okay. You guys want to sit outside? Or? Okay, hello. I'm Tito Raymond, Jose's little brother, little older brother. Um, here to reminisce on Jose's career, I guess. Um, I competed as a teenager. I am five years older than him. So after I competed for a couple years and I knew he was on the verge of competing, I suggested to him, I said, you should compete in the show and you would spank all these teenagers, in which he did. Um, and anybody who's competed before know that once you get bitten by the bug and, and, and that first bite is a victory, you're hooked. I think we're going on like 20 something years now, right, Hills? 21 years. It's my 21st year competing. Oh my. So that's a, that's a long career. And um, those of you who don't know Jose, Jose is uh, very disciplined and determined, hard headed. And uh, he wasn't going to stop until he won his pro card and went on to win Mr. Olympia. And that's gonna happen this year. So then maybe after this year when he wins, maybe then he'll start to slow down. Yeah. Well, I just had, and they took it, those bastards. They took the rest of my brother's food, thinking that I wouldn't eat it. But I had steak, three eggs over easy, and chocolate chip pancakes. They're multi-grain, so. It's healthy for you. Don't mind the chocolate chips. I need this because I'm supposed to train legs tomorrow. Like a herd. Boardwalk. Oh, this feels good. Man, it's still hot. People are already drinking beer. We gotta see the fake Jimi Hendrix. The guy's on rollerblades, and he has a radio around his neck, playing Jimi Hendrix music. Oh, really? And he just has like a wooden fake guitar. It's hilarious. Ah. 
it's a different life out here, man. You smell the herb. Every few yards, you smell a different joint. Someone smoking out here. Too bad I don't smoke weed. I'd be a very easy place to get your fix. Cool stuff. What makes what I mean, what's like wrong with that? Another one. It's very frustrating. That's true. Check it out, man. The humble people work for weeds. I arm wrestle for weeds. Oh, I don't know. I'm wrestle, but come on, I'm gonna let I you win. I'm gonna let you win. No, no, no. I'm scared. I got a friend, Victor Martinez, who almost lost look his at arm. Me, man, look, watch. That's all I got. Uh, you look good, man. I like your outfit. Thank you. I make my own clothes. Is it all made of hemp? No. Hey, if you bring me some, I'll hook you up. All right, cool. <laughs> you have a nice day. That was horrible singing. I know. Horrible. Was that singing? I thought that was cats fucking. It was wow. six cats fucking. Oh yeah. Stay home. How I feel to be out. Oh man, oh man. My mind is playing tricks. These are jail muscles. Oh, I know. How does it feel to be out? Here's your uh, dream shop right here. No photos, please, man. It's not a photo. It's video. Yes, I understand that. We have pictures inside, and I can't see. What are you gonna do about it, dude? <laughs> You're such a dick. You can pull it. Yeah, I did. It's video. It's on camera. This is the guy I was talking about. Yeah. Watch. He's actually got a radio. On. I have your size. Ah, that ain't gonna fit me, bro. I have your size. Yeah. Twenty bucks for everything. For everything, the guitar and everything. No. The rollerblades. Oh, that's that. Thanks. I knew I'd see that guy. I see him every time. He wants to sell me an extra small t-shirt. This right here is where, uh, like, white men can't jump and uh, American History X. Oh, yeah. so Look at that kid right there. That brother, he's all shredded. Badass, just from playing <laughs> basketball. <laughs> it's crazy. Kid's probably never lifted a weight in his life. And he looks like that. Yeah. That's what genetics are all about. These people freak me out, man. Now this guy spending time in there lifting and looks nothing like the other guy, huh? Beach. Sean Roden just showed up. Nice, what up, Sean? Flexitron. Hey, Sean. Huh? Oh, it's not? Oh, shit. Come on, man. Sean, you know I know better than that. I was just playing. That was you back in your Team U days. Extra feet, you guys do that. <laughs> That's a cool one, here. I couldn't train in there. I just can't. I need to be in the right environment. And a hundred people running by ain't, ain't the right environment.